Thank you very much. Thank you, Dark. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, uh, whatever applicable to our uh, global colleagues. And thank the organizer for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak before this other gathering. Uh, it's a very important topic we are discussing today. And I will be trying to be very brief and concise, and we can have opportunity to discuss in, uh, later on. If we look into the food system and uh, the overall our sustainable development goal, the food system not only focus on the eradication of hunger, rather it contributes to uh, sustainable development goals also. And it has connection with 14 SDGs out of 17. Next please. And if we uh, categorize all these 14 uh, SDGs, we can be group them into three main groups. One is related to food security and nutrition, inclusive development, and also the creation of a sustainable environment and, uh, and to fight against climate change. Next please. And these food system, as all of you know, that is really a complex. The food system embraces all elements. It includes environment, people, uh, different kind of process input, infrastructure, institution, market, and trade, etc. And its activities related relates with the production, processing, distribution, marketing, preparation, and consumption of food uh, overall. And food system involves multiple interactions among different actors and stakeholders involved at the different stage of food value chain. Therefore, it's uh, not very clear, uh, uh, straightforward to do a, to have a governance over the food system. Next please. Therefore, we say, also, we saw a few challenges in the food system, especially in the low and middle income countries. Uh, in many situations, we I, either we don't have, or even if we have, that is not a comprehensive national food safety policy. Sometimes uh, it's a big challenge. During development of these policies and challenge uh, system, we focus on hazard rather than risk. Therefore, more often related to the misallocation of the resources. Many regulation and standards are there but yet to have clarity on the extent to which these are voluntary or mandatory. Fragmentation of uh, in the responsibility we also can observe. There are lack of effective food safety engagement with the consumer. And at the same time, in the private sector, we have less, we have fo less focused on the empowerment and incentivize the private sector in case of de to deliver the food safety. Next please. And one of the important areas where food governance can be ensured that we have a food policy that I already mentioned. The food policies that so far we have, those are fragmented. Food issues are dispersed over different policy domains like it's, uh, agriculture, health, society, different aspects fragmented. Many food policies are dominated by the productionist paradigm rather than having the uh, user paradigm. Frequently, we have ignored environmental, social, and public health consideration and fail to reflect the essential reality of the biological and social dependence on food and the resources needed to produce its sustainability. Uh, next, please. And this is another important area. We rather uh, we are limited in risk perception. Therefore, the risk governing issue is uh, sometimes overlooked. And if we want to link with the public health risk in relation to inappropriate food system, it can focus on uh, the risk of disease spillover over the human. We have different kind of foodborne diseases. Uh, we are now facing the antibiotic resistance issue, microbial and chemical contamination. Uh, one of the biggest challenges is genetically modified food when we are focusing on the overproduction uh, to increase the production of food. 
food additive tradition and misuse of food additives these are different challenges uh, we have fertilizer water quality and health issue uh, pesticide and those the impact of those pesticide on the public health the groundwater and surface water contamination and so cheap low nutrient food from industrial uh, farming these are different public health risk areas where we need our uh, specific policy next please so in if we want to have uh, food system governance where we need to work we need to establish a food policy that integrates different policy domains and driven by ecological health and food security concerns we need to establish food sovereignty to replace the global uh, corporate uh, food regime create inclusive policy spaces in order to strengthen adaptive governance develop a new food policy that goes beyond food production and improve uh, based on the environmental and health outcome and create a coherent and sustainable food policy to policy integration across the discrete sectors and domains including all the as uh, stakeholders and actors uh, government agencies civil society organization and definitely food supply actors uh, next please and all of us you know that how can we achieve this when we have multiple sectors uh, involvement in a single system we need coordination we need strong collaboration and cooperation with each other and for that reason next please we need one health approach and as you know that bangladesh is uh, working as uh, for one health for long time it's one of the pioneer country where we started to institutionalize this one health approach we have one health secretariat in bangladesh and also uh, for consecutive five and five consecutive two times we have developed our uh, strategic framework where food safety and food security is one of the important components and also antimicrobial resistance is an important component when it which is again linked with our food system uh, i would stop here and would be happy to have your questions later on thank you very much thank you for giving me the opportunity